Jerry Lane Enterprises and Courtesy Motors present Paradise, Louisiana. With Gary Rispone and Don DeBute. Paradise, Louisiana is also brought to you by Baton Rouge Coca-Cola Bottling Company, Vinny's Car Wash and Oil Change, Cracker Barrel Convenience Stores. We have more than you expect. Always fresh, never frozen, Raising Canes. Louisiana Fish Fry Products. Demco, your touchstone energy cooperative. Pro Drive Outboards. Blue Cross Blue Shield of Louisiana. And Rouse's Markets. You're either local or you're not. Welcome to this week's edition of Paradise, Louisiana, and Don is still <laughs> rodeo edition. And I guess it has to be almost the whole show going to be a rodeo edition except for the fish and hunting report. Don, we got everything done. I don't know how we can get it all in, but uh, I do know you got a, your fishing report. You made a back to school trip. And I'm telling you right now, my, my whole show is about some new people coming on and Donnie Rouse and all the people over there did a great job. It was a large crowd as ever. Most of it's gonna be about the International Tarpon Rodeo. So, and I made the trip the week before, the Wish to Fish, we teased it last week. It's the kayak trip with the little girls and Danny Ray, all in honor of Kristen Ray. I'll tell you, you get around the end of the month in July and it is a large fishing weekend. It seemed like everybody, and their brother and their grandma was out fishing this week with all the rodeos and all the action going on, trying to get it in before school starts. So we got a lot of fishing to bring you. The Berkeley Abu Garcia Fishing Report, also our Flambeau Outdoor News segment, all coming up from Rouse's at Juven Road Crossing near Denham Springs. You're watching Paradise, Louisiana. Curtis's got your truck, man, so get yourself a deal, man. Courtesy Automotive is one of the largest and most experienced automotive groups in the South. Courtesy is a clear choice for all your automotive needs. So whether you're looking for a Ford, a Chevrolet, a Ram, Toyota, or a GMC, Courtesy's got your truck. A big truck, a small truck, Courtesy's got your truck, man. Stay tuned for more Paradise, Louisiana. Come to the family-owned and operated Cassius Casino in Port Allen today, where the Vegas-style video poker machines are ready for your entertainment. Cassius Casino is the finest, cleanest, classiest casino around. And Cassius 50-style diner is now serving seafood daily, along with your favorite home-cooked specials 24-7. Hey, Cassius is fun. Cassius is exciting. So come to the unsinkable Cassius Casino in Port Allen. Over the river, two miles west of exit 151. Welcome back to Paradise, Louisiana. And Gary, you know, if you think back when we were kids, the summer seemed like it lasted forever. It and did. then all of a sudden it came to an end around September. But now the kids go back to school, some of them as early as right now, in mid-August. We mid never went back to school the Labor Day. Except you played <laughs> right. ball. You Well, you went and played ball, but you didn't August actually go to 15th. class. That's right, August 15th, but you had two a day. So it was and one of the job. sad things about it was your midweek fishing trips came to an end. You had to go back to only fishing on the weekends. And I got to relive that. Uh, uh, through a couple of kids. We went down to Lafitte, Captain Tofield Bourgeois' place, the Cajun Vista, and hooked up with Captain Darren Helmers and his son. You know him well. They called him Little D. We also brought Derek Billiot, uh, who is a ginger, who works for Captain Tofield and a close friend. Her son came along with us. And uh, we had a tough day, though, i got to tell you. I don't know what it was. It was one of those you should have been here yesterday or maybe come back tomorrow. But we never got water moving. And we covered a lot of ground. And I got to tell you, those two little guys, they fish hard. But as always, we ended up catching a few fish. You know, Don, I asked somebody one time, they complimented us about our show. I'm sure they don't, when the ones that don't like it, they're going to tell us. But you know what they say they like most about our, your segment, our segment? And when we don't do good, we show it and we tell sure. everybody. Sometimes that's fishing. Well, if you think every fishing and hunting trip is a slam dunk success, you're living in a dream world. But anyway, we always have fun, and we had a lot of fun with these two kids. Before they got to go back to school, we'll show the action from John Lafitte, Captain Tofield Bourgeois, Bourgeois Charters, 
Captain Darren Helmers and the boys. If you're going to get a weekday fishing trip in for the kids before school, we've got some tips for you. One thing, make sure to have their life jackets and uh, just take your time and be patient with them because they really love it. And you teach them it and uh, the, they'll never forget it. Like. You got D. I enjoy doing it, watching them grow up. And uh, they've been little D and them been with me since they babies. And, I watch Adam today, they're just as good as us fishing. Maybe better. Yeah, I think they are better. <laughs> fishing, the best thing is catching fish and being out here with your friends. Catching fish and having fun. And what's the worst thing about going fishing? Fish pulling you overboard and losing your fish. Not catching. That's the worst thing. You don't see that dig. You gotta start somewhere. Mm -hmm. And you finally got one, bro. Yep. Got one. He ain't too big, but he's a keeper. That's what matters. Beautiful redfish. Yeah. Golden color. Now, what's the best thing about going to school, if anything? Learning new things and getting off of school and then going back fishing. <laughs> and what's the worst thing about school? The worst thing, sometimes you get a little aggravated and you just don't want to do any of your work and go fishing. <laughs> And what's the worst thing about school? I don't hold back. Tell me. Everything. What about kids nowadays? Do you think that them, with all the internet and all the games, electronics, that it's hard to keep their attention when they're fishing? The fish aren't biting. Yeah, it's hard to keep their attention. A lot of them, they'll they'll fish a while and they'll take a nap or run around a boat, keep looking at the fish in the ice chest or something. But uh, by the end of the day, they woo out. Come to the family-owned and operated Cassius Casino in Port Allen today, where the Vegas-style video poker machines are ready for your entertainment. Cassius Casino is the finest, cleanest, classiest casino around. And Cassius 50-style diner is now serving seafood daily, along with your favorite home-cooked specials 24-7. Hey, Cassius is fun. Cassius is exciting. So come to the unsinkable Cassius Casino in Port Allen. Over the river, two miles west of exit 151. Hi, I'm Kathy Petrie from Crowley, Louisiana. Dennis Stewart from Central. Stay tuned for more Paradise, Louisiana from Grand Isle Tarpon Road. Benny's Car Wash and Oil Change has been keeping cars and trucks in Baton Rouge clean and running smooth for over 50 years. At Benny's, we feature professional car washing, complete detailing, high-tech waxing and buffing, interior cleaning, and tire shine. Benny's, one stop for car maintenance with complete oil and lube services and even state inspections at our express locations. Visit one of our five convenient locations, including our newest store on Greenwell Springs Road. And don't forget to stop by Be Quick Convenience Store and Fuel Stop. Benny's Car Wash and Oil Change. Drive in dirty, drive out clean. Welcome back to Paradise, Louisiana, and Gary Grand Isle Tarpon Rodeo, biggest, oldest saltwater fishing event in the country, and certainly in Louisiana. And it kind of culminates the summer. And uh, how was this year? You put a lot like, of time no, in. You were naming all the things. It's, it's summertime Mardi Gras. It was again. <laughs> this is the, this is one time there's a lot of partying, but a lot of family activity. Uh, the tent. It, the pavilion now, they closed it, it's like a tent. It's cool, it's nice. And let me tell you, Sand Dollar Marina, I watch his I watch his daughter Rainy, Butch's daughter Rainy, Susan, all of they work from you know, way before daylight to after midnight, they're out there cleaning up for the, getting ready for the next day. And Don, I don't know if we put him everybody else will expect it, but he caught my room. And he cops the food. Now, which one you think is the most expensive? Ooh, I'd rather house you than feed you. You hear the cameraman? Sure. <laughs> yeah, that. and that, that the mainstay is that. Joe yeah. Mack was still there with me, mm -hmm. but I thought you supposed to be retired. He was sweating. They just work so hard, and it's and been doing it for so long. It's run so well. They got a little bit better weather, but there was some reason 
that the tough one didn't come up. They had one good day, one bad day. And that's the singing to a rodeo. Some yeah. years they don't have a good day. They had a lot of, a lot of firsts. You know, David Bro been fishing 50-something years. Him and so his partner, Troy Moran, they, they went out and caught their first tarpon in there. Uh, Joe Swess, his grandson, caught his first tarpon. Coon and him caught another one. He had some people on a boat, made the boards. Uh, they had the tag and release. The tarpon was a thing. Had one marlin come in. Boy from Conroe, Texas, came in there. I, I noticed, again, we're getting a lot of international flavor. They had people there from South America. They had people there, a bunch of them from South Carolina, Colorado, Florida, it, Alabama, you know, they always do that. It, it was just a, a beautiful weekend. Somebody, you go someplace, they say, oh, the crowd is down. No, even Buggy sent me a picture. I don't know who caught it. He just sent me a picture. Somebody bought a top and waited in over there. It was over there. You can see Bridgeside in the background. Now they had an outstanding rodeo record broken, too. Well, oh yeah, that's what you're talking about, the records. That was that grouper. I, I sent you, I thought they said 274, but it's 287. Right. I think the old record was 174. Mm -hmm. so, but then I was sitting there talking to Joe. I said, man, that, is that a, not a state record? He said, oh, no. Oh, no, it's three-something yeah. that been brought in for so. It's one good thing when you're around all those veterans, Marty and Steve and all those guys that the way in, and Joe, especially. Joe, Joe can tell you what it is. We had some new people in the broadcast business. We had some new people working around there from newspaper in the home of Courier. Had one little young lady there. She was really excited, learning everything. She was working with, with some people. It was the typical rodeo, the dancing, I got to do enough dancing. In fact, I begged off. I started to get away. But uh, we had some people there, couples, first time. My good friends, I, they came by there. Uh, Dennis Stewart from out in the central where it was, him and his, his friend was there. And uh, he was just amazed. He said, I've never been here all his lives. And mm. it, it was a lot of firsts, but a lot of old timers, they love it. They're not going to miss it. Donnie Rouse is the president. He had his little admiral hat on, and no, he was the admiral last year. He's president this year, and uh, we had all the dignitaries up there. And Donnie did a great job. But you know, Donnie's young. He he placed. He's been fishing all the time. I think he he had a place in there in the rodeo. He stayed on the board a good while. But you you watch Donnie handle the dignitary part of it. He was at every function there was. He was at the crab races. He was at the gave out awards at crab race. He gave out awards at the children's rodeo and the dang. And then that night, definitely him and the mayor they gave out. I would, I had some fun the time. I have missed it. I've been with you at Fall Pie, the way you were, and uh, it's getting hard. I, they're working out. I wish they had a way I could make both of them, but you just can't do it. Let's start off with part of one, the Grand Isle Tarpon Rodeo, and a lot of it's about tarpon. Welcome to the 2016 International Grand Isle Tarpon Rodeo. Andy Nevers with the crew of Chasing Lulu. Uh, caught this fish, took two hours, five minutes to catch him uh, in the Green Canyon south of here. We started out on a weed line, uh, caught some nice dolphin, picked up, uh, caught a nice blue for a little while, spit the hook, and uh, went on, caught that tuna, and he's in. You know, had a great day. Today, it was a rough trip, man. Rough. We, we got up at 4 o'clock, we out of water by 5, out in West Delta by 5.30. And it was a rough day. We fought through the jacks, through the sharks, through the rough tides. Finally made it through at the end of the day. That's all that matters.
Jim Tatum. Hey, out of Baton Rouge, Louisiana, and caught this three and a half pound trout on West Timbalier. Brian C. Jermaine, I'm the sports editor for the Curry and Daily Comets, and uh, it's probably my 18th or 19th rodeo cover that I've covered. Where were y'all fishing? Uh, in the water. <laughs> yeah, there's that guy in that white shirt right there. In the water. <laughs> where, you, where you was fishing? Uh, about uh, 70 miles south of Fushaw. Okay. Uh, what was the final weight? I didn't see it. Uh, I think it said 287. Two? The rodeo record. This record, this weight is what? 287.12. And the record previous? 124.12. 10. So that's when you break a record twice fold, that's a hell of an accomplishment. Right. Who doesn't want to save money on fuel? Now, Shell and the Fuel Rewards Network are putting you in control of how much you pay for fuel. Simply buy whatever's on your shopping list. Clothes, groceries, even dinner out. And earn cents per gallon savings at participating retailers nationwide. Now, fuel prices are in your hands. So why wait? Sign up at FuelRewards.com today and turn shopping power into saving power. Visit Cracker Barrel convenience stores before heading fishing or hunting. We have more than you expect. You're watching Paradise, Louisiana. Ask me about my Tempur-Pedic. Ask me how fast I fall asleep. Why not talk to someone who's sleeping on the most highly recommended bed in America? Ask me about staying asleep. Tempur-Pedic owners are more satisfied than owners of any traditional mattress brand. Ask me how it feels after 10 years. Tempur-Pedic, the most highly recommended bed in America. Ask about Tempur-Pedic at Olin's, where you know you always get the guaranteed low price. Olin's is the only store in Baton Rouge and Lafayette with the full line of Tempur-Pedics.
Yeah, we got in a big school of tuna. We were reeling a bunch of tuna in on poppers, and uh, this one hit. We didn't really know what it was at first. Got in the chair. As soon as we got in the chair, it started dancing across the line. Everybody's going crazy. Knowing it was a marlin. It's the first one we've seen all day. Later, got it to the boat. Good time. Everybody was dancing. Well, you see, I don't live here anymore. I mean, I live oh. out of state, so I get to come back here once a year, at least for this event, have a good time, see my relatives, and enjoy. enjoy. Sand Dollar, two of the legendary, or uh, two of the family members of the legendary Candy, name as the rodeo, uh, lost to death, you know, last year, your poor last. And uh, this has got to be a great honor to him to see his son on the board twice. Yes, uh, sir. It's an amazing deal. You came in there twice, you, you knocked some of the other ones off the board. Yes, sir. Today. So tell us about that catch. And then you did, they tell me you did it all by yourself. You were fishing with coon. Tell us about your trip. No. This is my first rodeo in a couple years. I could fish the entire time. So I was going to go all out. I went to go fish with coon pop. I went out there. It was 7 o'clock ish. And right off the bat. We thought it was going to be smaller than it was, but then it turned out to be a big old monster. <laughs> He's pretty wide. Give me that gas. I got to go. I'm a midget gut. He just went to make him get that. Brett, you got to be proud too right now. Yes, sir. Uh, couldn't, couldn't be more proud. You know, we, we were fortunate enough to for me to win last year and, and to have his name on the board, not just once, but twice right now. It's just fantastic, man. It, you know, and we all know his grandfather's smiling big from up, up above. So it's it's fantastic, man. Couldn't be any better. Uh, thank you for taking the time to talk to me. I'm going to talk to Coon. Uh, I know it was rough. I talked to Joe and him the other day, Joe Swess, and they were saying that they couldn't get him to come up yesterday. Y'all had a little trouble today after that first one, huh? Yeah, well, we didn't see any at all. We just uh, just stopped in an area and, and you know saw the signs and just put some lines out, and, and that's how we got him. Not not like Thursday or yesterday where his fish were showing up, you know, up on the surface. Didn't see any, but we picked the right spot to, to drop the lines out, and that's 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 for Coon Pop. What's all these balloons for? We're we're selling lemonade so we can give it to Spice because Spice has cancer.
What's in that box? No, right there on top. That's the secret stuff. I can't tell you about all that. Yeah. You're watching Paradise, Louisiana, here in Grand Isle, Louisiana. Thank y'all. There you go, Magnolia Buck. <laughs> is one of the largest and most experienced automotive groups in the South. Courtesy is a clear choice for all your automotive needs. So whether you're looking for a Ford, a Chevrolet, a Ram, Toyota, or a GMC, Courtesy's got your truck. A big truck, a small truck, Courtesy's got your truck, man. I'm Spanky Grove from Pierrepart, Louisiana, and you're watching Paradise, Louisiana. Don't be skanky, vote for Spanky. It's the summer of sizzle at the all-new Honda of Covington Power Sports. The number seven power sports dealer in the nation. Get sizzling savings on a huge selection of Honda ATVs, side-by-sides, generators, and mowers. Right now, buy the Honda 4Trax Rancher for $37.99. $37.99 delivers the 4Trax Rancher. Plus, the Honda of Covington Power Sports Service Center is ready to keep your Honda running longer. Come on and find your happy Honda place at the all-new Honda of Covington Power Sports. This fish so special is the first tarpon I've ever caught, actually the first tarpon I've ever hooked, and it's with a good friend of mine who's been with me for the first blue marlin I ever caught, and the second blue marlin I ever caught. So he's my lucky charm, and actually we fished and caught it in his boat. Uh, yeah. Troy Moran's the guy. We decided to go old school, Gary. We uh, admire the guys that went before us, but uh, mm -hmm. we created this bait this week. We call it a bro pop. After Davy Bro, it's a uh, just a regular jig head. We got Bill Humphreys, H and H Lewis King Kako, and it looks just like a mullet. And we put the circle hook with a, about 200 pound leader, yeah. and then we put a zip tie. And when the fish hits it and it jerks its head, this flies off of it, and it's just a vehicle to catch the fish. And so when it was tailing away, Davy gave it all it needed and when it jumped up and got out the air it hooked itself so this fish was hooked good it came out through the top pallet and it was it was there so this is it this is a original bro pop jig Davey, you might be proud dude uh, i am uh, you know i don't know if it sunk in yet actually troy troy texted me last saturday last friday i asked if he was on the island i sent him a text he said he wasn't coming but he'll be here for the rodeo wanted me to fish with him and uh, that afternoon, somebody asked about going tarpon fishing last Saturday. Uh, and I went, we saw a few, didn't have a bite. Troy texted and said, look, we're gonna tarpon fish for this rodeo first time. And he wanted to catch one for Grand Isle Rodeo and we, we succeeded. We did what we wanted to do. Congratulations. Great deal. One other thing. 
How many rodeos is this for you, Grand Isle Tarpon Rodeo? Grand Isle Tarpon Rodeos, it's probably, let's see, I'm 57, so it's probably about, uh, might be 50 rodeos that I've been around and coming to. And uh, my dad actually uh, caught a 175 pound tarpon. He's not a big tarpon fisherman, but he was lucky and caught one on one of the fishing trips he went on. So uh, uh, glad to follow in his footsteps and catch one for the rodeo. Thank you, all guys. This is my 30th. It's a great anniversary. It's not too late to join the 2016 CCA Star Tournament. Don't miss your chance to compete for over $500,000 in prizes. Boats, tackle packages, trips, and even cash. Over 25 divisions up for grabs. Whether you're young or old, fish inshore or offshore, they have one for you. Don't go fishing without your star ticket. Register at CCASTAR.com now through Labor Day. This is Jack Bonet uh, talking live from uh, Grand Isle. This is my 43rd consecutive Grand Isle, and you watch in Paradise, Louisiana. Keep on watching. This is our love. This is our life. This is our home. Louisiana. This is our day. Sweat. Yes, sir. One legend there. I know your daddy. You always say my daddy was legendary. My daddy was I'm legendary. still around you That's and right. Joe. Y'all still right. out there, but y'all still producing. Oh, yeah, we're trying uh, to follow We had some of them rookies out there that thought to catch a few fish. Hey, on. look, some of my buddies that ain't fished them in 10, 15 years, they come out here and call them. Matter of fact, Bill Price got the leaderboard right now with a big one. You and know? and, and, that's and, good. and I'm glad you, to see him back. And you, but it had to be you with the candy family. Yes. When you talk about the Red Van Nile Tarpon Rodeo, you talk about a legendary family. Almost in what you want from inception the rodeo. <laughs> uh, the old as it is, that Candy family's been involved. So you had to be very proud. And that phone driving you crazy. Everybody People want to know go, where they at. They, they want to know where they, they at. at. They you want call to know when they heard we call one or they they waiting for them to go back and find them again. That's tell it. it when you get somebody like the candy legend have people with you and everybody wants to fish with you. I still wait for fish with you. It'll happen. But tell me, you know, how does that make you feel? Oh, it's great. I mean, that's why I do it. You know, I mean, uh, anybody can say, oh, I want to be a guide. I want to be a guide. But you got to have a passion for it. I get as much excitement as them. I'm probably the most excited one on the boat when it comes flying out the water. And it's amazing, you know, a fish jump back there 100 yards behind the boat. And we all screamed 160 pounds. And that's what he weighed. I mean, we nailed it, you know. Then once you put him in the boat, you don't want to pump him up. You want him. We knew 167 was the top fish. But once you get some measurements on it, you kind of get a real good close idea. I've been catching a lot, a lot of big old tarpon. I've caught 20 of them over 200 pounds, and you see them every day. You kind of can get within you pounds. You were in the water when that big one was caught last year. Yeah, the my buddy, they were 246. The that's the United States record. It jumped exactly. to within 100 yards of us. We were all out there together. And, uh, I, I, we saw but, uh, You know, we knew this was a nice fish, but he's sharp. You know, I mean, that's what we look at, that girth. You know, that's what makes him weigh in. I mean, it's a great fish. Young man, it's his second one. 
you know, he caught his first one the first day of the rodeo. He got his name on the board twice. That's hard to do, you know, and uh, I'm proud of him. He's a great little angler. I mean, the fish gave him a great fight and all, but it makes you as a, I don't call myself a charter boat captain, but fortunately that's what I do, you know. I mean, people pay me to take them fishing, but I'm out there for the passion of the tarpon. I mean, I love it. That's why I'm here is just the fish tarpon. And yeah. It's a great You got tarpon. your marina going, you got the yes. hotel and everything yep. is going. Great wind marina is going good. I got good help. I got a great assistant manager in this Deborah and uh, I could come out here and do what I love and have the passion to do and don't worry about nothing back home. Everything's going good. I want to keep this short, but anytime I can get you stopped, I'm gonna take that interview. Well, I Thank you it. again for sending me those reports on the snap and everything from Coca Cola. Anytime. Please, please anytime. keep it up. We'll do. And I'll, I'll be long. I'll make it worth your while. Thank you. Until we go back and get a big one. Still don't forget about my fishing trip. You got it. All right. All right. Give me a you watching Paradise for Louisiana. You watching Paradise for Louisiana. <laughs> I'm John Jackson, and you know we always say we gather our groceries out the bayou. Whether it's freshwater, saltwater, catfish, redfish, you have tons of choices when it comes to fish in Louisiana. But when I fry fish, there's only one choice, and that's Louisiana fish fry. My new favorite, the Cajun fish fry, has the perfect amount of cornmeal, corn flour, and the perfect mix of spices that really bring the heat. Hey, if you're craving Cajun, go look for the bright red bag at your local grocers. Bring home the taste of Louisiana with Louisiana Fish Fry. Stay, Stay tuned, tuned for, for more, more Paradise, Paradise Louisiana. Louisiana. Box combo, please. At Raising Cane's, we do one thing. And we do it better than anyone else. So why not let our food do the talking? Love the window. Grayson Canes, only the best chicken finger meals. One love. <laughs> Welcome back to Paradise, Louisiana. Gary, as you know, kayak fishing has become off the charts, not just in Louisiana, but all over the country, but especially here in Louisiana. World Ride the Bull right. World Championship going to be held here. And now that's even moved over to a, a special event, one that we cover a lot called Wish to Fish. Right. Wish to Fish with Danica start this. You know, everything is grow up. Uh, I'm sure she was encouraged by Danny and, and his wife, Kristen, Chris, who we lost. Everybody knows the Ride the Bull. It's coming up this month. 
It won't be long, and we'll be talking a lot about it in the upcoming month. CCA and and uh, their group over there, all the volunteers, uh, and Anna, Kristen, they're taking it over. And uh, believe me, it ain't going to lack for publicity, and we might even break another record. But if you're going to start in anything, what kind of fishing, you got to start young. Danica Williams and her volunteers know how to get people interested in fishing. She does it with everything else. You the best, Danica, you the best. You pull all these volunteers together. Here's another example of what Danica Bailey Williams does. Alyssa Falcon, and I'm from Algiers, New Louisiana. I'm Rachel Bancroft, and I'm from Algiers. Elizabeth Wagner from New Orleans, Louisiana. Hi, I'm Sarah Bancroft. I go to Ben Franklin High School. Samantha Lotz, and I'm from Metairie Academy in Jefferson Parish, Louisiana. Rachel Sell, and I'm going to Haynes Academy in Jefferson, Louisiana. I'm Lucy Broussard, and I'm going to Patrick Taylor Academy in West Rio. Samantha Lotz, and I'm going to Haynes in Jefferson, Louisiana. Hi, I'm Lainey Sell. I am the Girl Scout Troop Leader for Troop 40460 in Metairie, Louisiana. Hi, I'm Joanne Wagner from Algiers, Louisiana, and I'm the troop leader for our cadets of Troop 40884. Hi, I'm Jan Bancroft from New Orleans, Louisiana, co-leader of Girl Scout Troop 40884. Danny Ray, Calm Water Charter, Strand Isle, Louisiana. Is Wish to Fish 2016 at Grand Isle with Captain Danny Ray. And of course, none of these trips would be possible without wonderful sponsors. And for this kayak trip, obviously without Danny Ray, we would not be able to get him out on the kayaks. We have sponsors that have been with us since day one, like Louisiana Fish Fry. So all the girls and the parents go home with fish fry to cook their fish. We have Bride and Reels to give to them from CCA Louisiana, Coca-Cola Bottling Company, Baton Rouge, Borden's Milk, and Orange Shoes. So Without this, folks, um, this, this trip would be difficult, so they, they make it a lot easier on us. If anybody would like to help with this event or any of our events, you can give me a call at 504-628-7282. If you'd like to be a sponsor, if you'd like to be a volunteer, if you know of a group that would like to get involved, if a Girl Scout group, um, any type of organization, youth organization, if you'd like to get them involved in one of our Wish to Fish events, just give me a call at that number, or you can look us up on our Facebook page, uh, Wish to Fish LA. Benny's Car Wash and Oil Change has been keeping cars and trucks in Baton Rouge clean and running smooth for over 50 years. At Benny's, we feature professional car washing, complete detailing, high-tech waxing and buffing, interior cleaning, and tire shine. Benny's, one stop for car maintenance with complete oil and lube services and even state inspections at our express locations. Visit one of our five convenient locations, including our newest store on Greenwell Springs Road. And don't forget to stop by Be Quick Convenience Store and Fuel Stop. Benny's Car Wash and Oil Change. Drive in dirty, drive out clean. You're watching Paradise, Louisiana. Who doesn't want to save money on fuel? Now, Shell and the Fuel Rewards Network are putting you in control of how much you pay for fuel. Simply buy whatever's on your shopping list. Clothes, groceries, even dinner out. And earn cents per gallon savings at participating retailers nationwide. Now, fuel prices are in your hands. So why wait? Sign up at FuelRewards.com today and turn shopping power into saving power. Visit Cracker Barrel convenience stores before heading fishing or hunting. We have more than you expect. 
Welcome back to the Flambeau Outdoor News segment of Paradise, Louisiana. And Gary, we got a lot of fishing rodeos still on the books to go. Uh, we're going to cover the faux pas, which took place this past weekend on next week's show. Also coming up is the Empire South Pass Tarpon Rodeo, which is in its 66 year. It's kind of behind some of the other ones, but it's been around a long time. That's going to be at the Empire Boat Harbor coming up this weekend. But we had some sad news to report. We, had, we talked about boating fatalities a couple of weeks ago. We continue to have more of them here in Louisiana and what you got to call some freakish accidents. One was a really horrific event, a five-year-old boy frogging with his daddy in a mud boat on the Intercoastal Canal. They ran out of gas. They tried to paddle a boat to get away from two tugboats that did not see them. The tugboats swamped them. Uh, before they swamped, they both jumped out of the boat to try to swim the shore. The father got away from the tugboats, but unfortunately the five-year-old was sucked underneath drowned and his body wasn't found until a day later. But that wasn't bad enough. Uh, on the 31st, the night after the Grand Isle Tarpon Rodeo, one o'clock in the morning, a uh, gentleman by the name of Robert Sims from Metairie, they were running in a boat down Kaminata Pass headed from Grand Isle to Fushon. Uh, they said the report was he was a lookout, I guess it was dark and he was watching for obstructions, didn't see a pilot, hit the pilot and pretty much he was killed instantly. So. Again, the only thing you can do from these type of events is, 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 is learn something, exercise as much caution as you can, and try to learn from these and avoid them as much as you can. But it has been a really rough summer here in coastal Louisiana with boating fatalities and accidents. I, I don't know how you get over it. Losing, you don't ever get over losing it. Losing any of them, but especially a five-year-old. And you, you thought of tape precautions, but something happened there. You know, don't want nobody to feel guilty, but it, something happened. Yeah, run out of gas, or a boy shows up and you don't expect it. You know, you try to plan for the unexpected, and that's the whole deal, hunting trips, fishing trips. You know, once you see it, you try to learn from experiences of others. It, I, 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 can, I just can't imagine the hurt right now in the family. So what we got to do, like we have to try extra, more and more. I still see captains. We're going to have a captain here that, you know, later on we have captains come on the show. We try to tell them, you put the life jacket on you, and then maybe everybody well, else. Well, in these two cases, it. it wouldn't have made any difference, but in, in right. many it does. All right, stay with us. We'll be right back with the Berkeley Abu Garcia Fishing Report here on Paradise, Louisiana. At Rouse's, we love food as much as you do. That's why it's no surprise our chefs aren't the only cooks who work here. Rouse's butchers know how to select, trim, and cook every cut we sell. Of course, our produce experts are the very best in the field. And on the field. And you can always count on our seafood department for the best catch. Heads up, Brandon. The best quality and the best price is why the best chefs and cooks shop and work at Rouse's. Stay tuned for more Paradise, Louisiana. It's the summer of sizzle at the all-new Honda of Covington Power Sports, the number seven power sports dealer in the nation. Get sizzling savings on a huge selection of Honda ATVs, side-by-sides, generators, and mowers. Right now, buy the Honda 4Trax Rancher for $37.99. $37.99 delivers the 4Trax Rancher. Plus, the Honda of Covington Power Sports Service Center is ready to keep your Honda running longer. Come on and find your happy Honda place at the all-new Honda of Covington Power Sports. Welcome back to Paradise, Louisiana. It's our Berkeley Abu Garcia fishing report. And Gary, all the fish we saw in the Grand Isle Tarpon Rodeo, I think that makes a lot of statement about what's going on offshore. We saw some really nice fish. Tarpon was a little sporadic, but there was some good tuna caught. There was uh, pretty much some wahoo. Billfish has been good. And a lot of that you can attribute to the weather. But I'll tell you, and we'll talk more about this next week with that five string of snapper category that was in the faux pas rodeo. Red snapper from being limited to state waters has really been good this year. Uh, the same thing over there, people were catching them. Uh, you, you're talking about springers, so redfish too are doing good. That was Jerry Lawpenter. He is a, you know, he's a sheriff down there at Terrebonne. Uh, he, he, he takes pride in winning that redfish. He hunts them down, he won the redfish thing again. It, uh, it tickles me to see them, but there are a lot of people catching redfish. You talking about in the feet? A lot of people calling me where you catch redfish. Redfish are about everywhere. The beach at Grand Isle is the key. 
They still having trouble with the swells. Even when the wind is not blowing, the swells are there. But if you got a bigger boat and you want to fight it, or if you want to wait, people ask again, say, what about Elmer's Island? Elmer's Island's open, but you got to park, you got to walk up and down, travel. You can't have a vehicle to run up and down. But most of the trout I'm here being caught, they catch them in the back when it's rough, catching school, watching birds, watch the birds. A lot of guys would tell me that the birds were sitting. They're sitting there for a reason, they're not leaving. When the shrimp come to the top, they're gonna be up moving. You still fish there. You can catch them on plastic, and live shrimp was the best thing. We talked about having a lot of live shrimp. I don't know what it is, the weather, something happened. I was picking on Butch. I said, Butch, we told everybody we had no trouble with bait. You don't have bait. They said, we got minnows, we got croakers. What happened? What happened to the shrimp? He said, they're not coming in like they were. And then one day they come in. You know, they, everybody got enough shrimp. So, uh, Grand Isle is good at catching crabs in the surf. You want to go crabbing, you're catching crabs a lot of places. All y'all people before the summer ends, before Labor Day, closing in too on the Star Tournament, yep. coming out on Labor Day. There's a lot of fish to be caught. By the way, the food bank out of New Orleans we got the benefit. We, I did a little story there. We had a lady that was there, and, and boy, I'm telling you what, they did a, a CCA, and these volunteers for CCA, especially from Jefferson Parish and down in New Orleans, they did a great job of cleaning. What's happening here today is the Grand Tarpon Rodeo, and when fish get brought in, they place first, second, or third, the rodeo keeps the fish. Instead of those fish going to waste or getting thrown back in the ocean, we have volunteers here today from CCA Louisiana who are cleaning the fish for the Second Harvest Food Bank in New Orleans. So all of this fish is not gonna go to waste. It's gonna go to a fish fry at the New Orleans Mission. So we are taking the fillets here and we're bringing it back to New Orleans with the Second Harvest Food Bank and making sure the fish doesn't go to waste. It instead goes to families in need. Uh, my name is Al Dockian, AKA Abdul the Tent Maker. And I am a chapter uh, volunteer from the chapter West Bank. My brother Maurice is the president of the West Bank chapter of the CCA. Gary yeah. Maurice Dockham from Lafitte, Louisiana, West Bank chapter president with the CCA, volunteer fish cleaner for the Second Harvest of Food Bank. Chris Connor, Ocean Springs, Mississippi. This is just one more reason you should join CCA Louisiana. We've got volunteers across the state doing projects like this, helping conserve our coast Chris, and help our people. We, I'm getting ready to head to the southwest. Big Lake, I got good reports from there. The salinity is so high all over. I listened to your show the other day talking to, to the captains and uh, all of them talking about the salinity is way up, a lot of small trout. What else you can, you can say about your area? Well, fishing for speckled trout has been really tough lately. Um, areas like Venice just not producing the speckled trout historically it does. Uh, Ryan Lambert down in Buras and Empire, they're talking about it's kind of tough there. Pontchartrain, we had a good run there early in the summer and it's kind of falling off there. Um, Lake Bourne, you're catching a few there, but there's been a lot of reports of a lot of small trout. Even Hopedale, which did so good for so long, it's actually got a little bit tougher there to catch those speckled trout. So hopefully that's not a, a permanent thing. I think it's just a bump in the road and we'll probably look forward to a good fall, especially if some of those smaller trout move up into the keeper range. But Let's go to salt water. I mean, let's leave salt water and go to fresh water. Sacalea on. Down at Bob Black, I'm getting pictures from people fishing by Black, people fishing uh, in the areas in the Chafalaya. They're finding a few Sacalea. The water's been going up and down. You got to look for that clear water and grass. If you can put them both together. Now, the bass are being caught in the muddy water in the Chafalaya. It's moving water though, and it's this. It must be cooler, whatever it is. They fishing crankbaits on top, and then naturally they're fishing plastics in the chapel A couple things to add places are the Mr. Go rocks are still producing bass, which is kind of strange, but that has uh, been helped a lot by the opening of the Bonnie Carey Spillway earlier. Uh, they're catching a lot of those 10 to 13 inch size bass on plastic worms. Uh, you can also fish voodoo shrimp and use that as a bass bait to catch them too. My grandson, we fished a, a lake and it got rained out. He fished a lake in Mississippi. I don't, I don't know exactly where it is because he's working in, out of that, you know, certain areas in Mississippi right now, pipeline and doing it. They got rained out. He went in his boss's pond, 
He called a brim. He said, Daddy, thing, I mean, Papa, it must look like it weighed three pounds. I said, no. But it was 11 half inches long, caught a bunch of them. Then he, he put a havoc bait on, on a worm, and he caught him a, a bass that was over six, seven pounds. So congratulations, Micah. Send it in. All right. When you do make those catches, make sure to send the pictures and a little report, the who, the what, the where, and the when, to Gary at Paradise, Louisiana. We'll put you on the program. That's going to be it for this show. We hope to invite you back again next week. we got the faux pas fishing rodeo, which took place this week. We'll be covering that and much more. So hope you'll join us then for another edition of Paradise, Louisiana.